In this video lecture, we will study biogeographical evidences of evolution. It was based on the biogeographical distribution. What is the biogeographical distribution? The distribution of animals and plants on Earth's surface is called as biogeographical distribution. When the Earth was formed, it is believed that it was not divided into the continents. It was a single unit of the landmass and it was given the name Pangaea. And later on, this single unit of the landmass was divided into the multiple subunits. And all those multiple subunits, they were given the name continents. And the process of the formation of the continental drifts or the plate tectonics was described by Alfred Wegener and due to this kind of formation of different biogeographical area we can have certain evidences which can be helpful in understanding the process of the evolution under that first of all we will study discontinuous distribution what is the discontinuous distribution the distribution which is not continuous in the single continent now here in this image we can see that this blue mass that represents the uh, single earth unit and this blue dot represents particular species of the plant. When this earth was divided into the different continents then along with the separation of the earth this species of the plant is also getting distributed into the different continents. So this kind of distribution is known as the discontinuous distribution. What is the definition of that? When descendants or the progenies of a common ancestors inhabit different geographical areas, it is called discontinuous distribution. Here we are able to see that the descendant, this uh, white dots can be the descendants, that the descendants of the common ancestors they are distributed in the different geographical area by the compartmentalization of the earth and the process is known as the discontinuous distribution the example of the discontinuous distribution is the animal life of the britain and japan so that uh, animal life of the britain and japan is very much similar the second example is the Camel. The species of the camels of Asia and South Africa, they are very much uh, similar. And the species of the camel which is seen in the so South America is given the name Lama. Likewise, the tulips. The tulips are also available in the China and Eastern USA. And the elephants, they are seen in the different two continents that is the great India and the Africa. Now we will uh, look at the restricted distribution. Now as the name suggests restricted is the limitation of the particular species to the particular continent or the particular limited geographical area. So here the occurrence of the species is being restricted only to the one geographical area area and the process is known as the restricted distribution uh, here the definition is given some areas of the world have unique organisms not found anywhere else is called restricted distribution the one example of that is the egg laying mammals that is also known as the duck billed platypus is only seen in the australia now the third under the uh, geographical evidences is the Darwin's finches as we all know that Darwin has uh, done lots of work on the different species of the finches and he has studied mainly in the Galapagos Islands here the Galapagos Island is seen this Galapagos Island is the unit of 22 smaller islands so that is not a single island but it is made up of the different 22 small islands it is a chain of islands and it is seen in the pacific ocean on the west coast of the south america and in the galapagos island 
mainly the Aravindic study on the finches which is also known, known as the small black bird. Now what he has observed in the finches that we will uh, study. When he has studied the different species of the finches, he observed certain dissimilarities in the finches. When he tried to look for the reason for this differences, then what he has observed that the main finches species of the South America, they were seed eating. So, their main food was the seed. But when later on, they are migrating to the all different uh, 22 islands of the Galapagos. So, according to the availability of the food on the different compartments of the island, they have to change their morphology. Basically, the size of the body and the size of the beak and the shape of the beak. On different islands, their beaks adapted to the type of food available and on every island new species of the finches was evolved and thus origin of new species of the finches from the parental stock adapted to the new habitat and the process is known as the adaptive radiation. What is the adaptive radiation? The process in which organisms diversify very rapidly. Here we have seen that when the finches they have they have migrated to the different continents then they have to change their body shape and the big size and shape according to the availability of the food in that particular geographical area so here the process of the change in the morphology is very fast and this kind of fast change in the morphology mainly due to the environmental condition is known as the adaptive radiation now, the last under the biogeographical evidences is the mass extinction. Now, what is the extinction? The extinction is the lost or the disappearance. The definition is the termination of a lineage without issue or abrupt disappearance of the specific group of organism without leaving any descendants. The extinction are of two types. One is the true extinction and one is the pseudo extinction in true extinction what does happen the species which has been lost they never reappear on this earth a particular lineage totally disappears without any progeny or evolutionary descendants and one of the example of true extinction is the jamaican flightless ibis uh, what is the pseudo extinction? In pseudo extinction, once the species has become extinct and again after few uh, years or several generations, they can be reappeared on this earth. So pseudo extinction may also be called a phyletic extinction or the phyletic transformation. In this type, a group may disappear leaving descendants with evolutionary modification and one of the example of that is the lazarus species scientists uh, thought it become extinct million of years ago but leaving a specimens reappeared in the year 1938 so here we have studied all four aspects of biogeographical evidences thank you